hi guys it is Wednesday and today I am starting my spring cleaning and my kitchen is a disaster so no judging I just got done washing dishes and I need to scrub this side out but I've got some pine saw water going here I'm gonna touch the floor I'm gonna clean the kitchen from top to bottom and I'm gonna kind of take you along with me you guys know that I do keep up with my um, kitchen you know that you know I am always cleaning out drawers rearranging reorganizing etc but um, things need a good wipe down and it's a beautiful day today I'm gonna show you guys um, it is gorgeous outside look at that Sun and it's like in the 70s yesterday it was actually 80 degrees excuse all the stuff all over my table that's the reason why I need to clean um, this area over here is a disaster um, but I understand that we just had breakfast and we just had coffee and all that kind of stuff but I'm running the coffee uh, pot through the dishwasher and then once I do that well you know what I may not do that now I need I'm going to be cleaning out the Keurig machine and my coffee pot and if you guys have never seen me do that I have done that in past cleaning motivation videos basically what I do is, is I just run uh, vinegar through and then I always make sure that I clean this really really good and I tell people all the time I've had this Keurig machine for almost six years and because I keep it clean and maintain it that is the reason why I have this Keurig machine still back to spring cleaning I am going to tackle my coffee pots bleach my countertops excuse this because we just ate breakfast and you know I haven't tidied at all and I have some onions laid out where I've started preparing dinner and some uh, tomatoes out just ignore that that's all gonna be gone but I've got to unassemble this entire stove and clean it really really well uh, when I spring clean I take the bottom drawer out again excuse the floor I take the bottom drawer out and I make sure underneath is thoroughly clean I'm gonna move the refrigerator out and clean out from underneath and behind it and I need to clean my windows and my table and the floor and the only cabinet that I have to wipe out is this one right here um, because I do believe that somebody got in here and was swiveling this thing around to get some oils or whatever and one of my um, soy sauces fell off and I think it leaked a little bit in there because I, I could smell it and I think it's in there so I'm going to take everything out and wipe this out but that's the only um, cabinet that I'm going to actually wipe out because um, all the other ones I've already done so yeah so let's get started shall we okay I've got a lot of things going on I just took apart my entire stove and I took all the foils off as you can see here and I'm gonna wipe all this down and refoil it wipe this all down before I put it all in and then I'm gonna um, pull the foil out of my um, oven part and uh, wipe it down because it doesn't really get that dirty um, but it does still need to be you know freshened up and clean I've got vinegar going through this I've got vinegar going through this and because I take see I take all the little parts out and I just put those in my dishwasher all the time um, I just then just uh, use a pot because I don't have the level thing I don't even know what you call that but the thing that sits on the Keurig machine down here at the bottom um, because it's in the dishwasher I just use a pot to catch all of the vinegar water that I'm running through the Keurig and I just keep running it and running it until all the vinegar is completely cleaned out and then this here has ran once with the vinegar and then I will run just regular hot water through twice just to make sure that the vinegar is out because you don't want vinegar coffee in the morning that'd be kind of yucky but uh, don't judge but one of my kids heated up spaghetti last night and they didn't cover their plate and it exploded look how filthy my <laughs> microwave is I'm kind of embarrassed to even show you guys but I'm gonna show you guys what I do I take a bowl and I cut a lemon in half and I put this bowl and I don't think I can do it with one hand let's see if I can because this is pretty heavy and I don't want to spill it ah! okay here we go I stick it in here in the microwave here we go It'd be a good thing if I would point the camera to it wouldn't it and I put it in there for like three minutes and then I set the timer for like five minutes and it steams up with the lemon water and then all of this gook that's stuck in the inside of my um, microwave will just wipe off with ease the only thing is is I'm really really short 
and I hate cleaning this microwave because I actually have to stand on my tippy toes to clean it out and you can see my door oh it's so gross okay so I am going to uh, set my timer here for two minutes and then I'm gonna set the timer again and I'll wipe it all out and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done wiping it out okay guys I am sweating to death I realized it was 75 degrees in the house and I just turned the air on and I am hot but I did get the top done, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys. Everybody asks me all the time, how do you keep your stove top so spotless in it being a black appliance? First of all, let me tell you, I have three boys. Well, four, including my husband. It's not easy because I have people that cook you know, besides myself and they make a mess and they don't clean it up. And I really strongly, if you have little kids, don't get black appliances. It's probably one of the worst things I have ever done um, in making that decision. But I just want to quickly show you guys. I use a hot rag, you know, with pine saw or whatever, and you know, I just took all of this apart, completely cleaned it. Um, I cleaned up underneath the hood. I can't even. There we go, I put new foil down to keep it clean. And doing the foil thing really helps me because um, it catches a lot of stuff and then nothing really sticks on this and then it comes right off and I just change the foil out after I wipe it down. But anyways, after I get done cleaning it really good, I usually use a glass cleaner, but today I've just been using this Mr. Clean. Um, but you could do straight up vinegar even. My, my son just came out here and goes, Mom, the whole house smells like a giant pickle. But anyway, <laughs> um, I just spray a little bit on and I use a microfiber cloth and this one looks really ugly, but it's just because it's just super used and it's washed, it's clean, it's just um, old. <laughs> but um, I just go over it and I just make sure that I wipe it completely down and this gives it that good buffed shiny appearance and um, I just finish it off with a microfiber cloth and it makes a difference. I just got done cleaning my microwave out. Ta-da! It's so clean and it smells lemony fresh and my mom says, okay, the 1950s housewife is at work today. Um, he teases me all the time. Um, but anyways, I did. I got this all clean and I cleaned this um, tray really, really well. And so that is all nice and done. So now I'm getting ready to clean my windows. Excuse the manicure here but um, anyways I use this window cleaner and it is foamy and I just give my windows a good dousing of <laughs> window cleaner as you can see and I just give them a good wipe down and I'm just going to do all three of these windows right here just to make it good and clean in here okay I just got done with those windows I just wiped down the kitchen table and the chairs and swept this whole area so I moved all the chairs and everything out and I swept everything and of course last I will mop the entire kitchen and that'll be done everything on the walls and stuff I do every week and re just regular dusting so I'm not gonna even touch that oh, I'm out of breath I just got done eating it's dollar hot dog day at the Sonic so I had a hot dog and a water <clears throat> so anyways I am done with this side i still need to bleach but i do that last and you can see we are coffee people and coffee stains and all of this is done so i'm just going to keep plugging i need to get over here and clean this up i need to drain my water look how dirty that water is from cleaning yeah pretty yucky guys and i've got some pans over here that need to be put up where i hand wash so i'm just going to kind of start tidying up the the space through here and um, yeah, so I can get to the next task. Okay, so now that I have all of this clean and all of this clean, um, I just use the lemon water from my microwave to clean out my garbage disposal so it doesn't go to waste. Okay, I just moved out my refrigerator here. And as you can tell, the floor is not super bad. I've actually seen worse, but I just want to wipe this wall down and the back of my refrigerator and get this floor good and mopped and cleaned. And then I always make sure that the hard to reach places on the fridge, like the sides where, you know, is connected to this. I also want to clean that side of the cabinet here as well. 
So I'm going to get this uh, cleaned up and swept and get my refrigerator moved back and uh, that should be pretty close to being done. So uh, let me get to it. Okay, I'm kind of out of breath, but I just moved my refrigerator. I'll come over here so you guys can see. Just moved the refrigerator back, cleaned everything out from uh, behind it, wiped the whole thing down. What you're seeing is scratches. Not too happy about that, but it's, it's there. It's been there for a while because that happened when we moved back into this house. So anyways, um, so now I am going to run some water, some hot water in here with some pine saw as soon as I find it. And I'm going to wipe down all of my cabinet fronts and everything in here will be completely done. And it feels good and it smells good. It smells really good and clean and I love that. So I'm just going to use my pine saw. I'm just going to give the cabinets a quick wipe down and then I'll come back and say goodbye to you guys. I got all of my cabinets all wiped down and I don't know if you guys have noticed this and excuse my stuff laying up here because usually it goes under the sink but I got a new light a new LED light the other one was broken and it looks so terrible and I'm so thankful for a new light and it's nice and bright too see how nice that is and it's perfect size it's really hard to find a light that fits this little small space that gives off a lot of light it's an led they had two more on sale i should have bought them but well you live and learn i guess <laughs> so everything is clean and i did uh clean this cabinet right here um with the soy sauce and everything in it i did take everything out and got that wiped out um, I did mop the floor. That's why you see the wet. I got all the cabinets all wiped out. I scrubbed out the sinks really good. Put away a lot of stuff that was on the counters. I still have my cleaning products out because of course I'm going to go continually through the house here. But um, yeah, but this room is done. And I'm so glad and it smells so good and it's so nice. My husband will come home from work and he'll be like, wow, the kitchen is spotless. Actually, to be honest, you probably won't even notice. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed spending the day with me uh, spring cleaning, and I'll be talking to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.